in time, and especially if not properly taken care of, leather furniture will show its age. Scratches, cuts, fading and abraded areas become evident, as can be clearly seen on this sofa. A regular routine of cleaning and protection with leather cleaner and leather protector helps prevent many undesirable traits. However, now we want to show you how you can repair damaged leather items. Finiche's methods are safe, simple and environmentally friendly. If possible, try to separate single pieces to make your work easier. Let's take the worst cushion and work on half of it. First, it is necessary to clean your leather item with leather cleaner to remove surface dirt. Dampen a clean sponge well with leather cleaner and rub in a circular movement. Remove excess with paper or cloth and leave to dry or fasten the process using a household hair dryer. As we are working on a seat cushion, this part of the sofa is not dirty with grease. However, grease is easily absorbed in headrests and armrests. In these areas, treatment with leather degreaser is strongly recommended. Let's leave this cushion for a moment to show you how to use leather degreaser on a headrest. Simply spray a heavy coat of leather degreaser on any greasy part. It will dry to a white powder that will absorb grease from the leather. Leave the powder to work for at least four hours, preferably overnight. Do not dry with a hairdryer as it will prevent the product's degreasing action. Remove the powder from the leather using a vacuum cleaner with a soft tip and then clean the leather with leather cleaner. Let's go back to the cushion we were working on. After a standard cleaning and eventual use of leather degreaser, we need remover to clean the leather thoroughly and remove most of the old finishing. You can use remover with a cloth or paper towel, often changing it for a better action. The effect of remover is very dramatic. Next, try to glue down all raised flaps using leather glue. Apply the glue only on the lower side of the flap and push it down. Immediately remove any excess glue. Leave to dry for about one hour. Do not use a hair dryer. On this seat we have deep cracks and worn away areas that need to be hidden using Mender, a white stucco paste that fills in gaps, being flexible enough to hold the finishing nicely together without cracking. Mender is to be gently applied by a spatula or a hard plastic card. Mender may be mixed with a maximum of 10% properly matched pigment base coat to fit in better with the colour of the leather article. Try to fill scratches without leaving excess product on the leather surface. Leave to dry for at least four hours, possibly overnight. Do not dry with a hair dryer as this would affect the product's performance and adhesion. When completely dry, the surface can be made even by light rubbing with 400 sandpaper. Remove dust particles by air pressure or with a soft tip vacuum cleaner. Now you should have a smooth, even surface. If not, use Mender again as beforehand. The next three steps require spray application. Mask with tape any part you do not want colored. It is also wise to apply the product by sponge in areas where the spray would not reach. Make sure that the folded leather will not stick together. To grant adhesion of the finishing, we need to apply adhesion promoter on the leather. You should add 5% of Crosslinker 86 to adhesion promoter 
to maximize product performance. Dilute Crosslinker 86 with water first and then add to adhesion promoter. Being a solvent based product you should use it in a well ventilated area. While adding diluted Crosslinker 86 very slowly stir well and keep stirring for at least a minute. Sponge apply adhesion promoter in difficult areas. Then spray one coat of the same using crisscross patterns. Avoid excessive spraying on any one area that could form drops. To make sure the leather is evenly covered, overlap with the last cross and keep spraying even whilst changing direction. This speciality is a soft polyurethane with extraordinary adhesion and high tenacity. To speed up drying, a hairdryer may be used. Now the leather is ready to be coloured. Match the sofa colour by mixing the necessary colour tones of pigment base coat. Remember to sponge apply the product in difficult areas. Spray two light coats. A hairdryer may be used for quick drying. The top coat is the final step to protect the leather, grant against colour transfer and give the needed physical properties. Take a look at your leather and decide what level of sheen you want to give to your final artwork. You have a glossy and matte top coat available that can be mixed in any ratio. Keep in mind that matte finishing hides defects better and gives a more natural look. Once the sheen has been selected by eventually mixing the two top coats, you can obtain the desired feel of the leather by adding no more than 2% of slip or non-slip additive. With the top coat, it is essential to add 10% of Crosslinker 86 to grant the necessary physical properties. Remember to stir when adding. Sponge apply the product in difficult areas and then spray two light coats. Once perfectly dry, apply leather protector and follow an appropriate cleaning and care routine with Fenicia products to make sure your precious leather item will please you for many years. Leave your renewed sofa to rest for a couple of days before using. As you can see, you can achieve a major improvement even on very damaged leather.